Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. We are going to do a little cherry cordial. What I'm going to do is start out with some brown. I'm rolling it in a small ball, and we're going to wrap, start wrapping it around a marble. So. And go ahead and start rolling it around. And I start thinning out around the sides and top. And you don't want it covering more than half the marble. And then once you decide where the top is and sides, you could press down slightly. Pressing down slightly will create a bottom for it to rest on. I'm just rolling it with my fingers to keep it smooth. You could always sand this later if you don't feel that it is smooth enough. But from here, we're going to go ahead and bake it. If you have fingerprints on the side, you can smooth them out with the pad of your finger by just rubbing them like this. The color I use is Burnt Umber from Primo. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to bake it just like this and we'll be back while that's baking you can mix your red this red is about one quarter pomegranate from Primo three quarters translucent and then I added just a touch of like a fuchsia color just to um, make it a little bit richer and not quite so bright red what we're going to do is create a small ball. And you won't know if it's quite the right size until it's done. But you want to make sure that there's some room in the circle that looks about the right size. And something else you can do while we're waiting is pour out some translucent liquid Sculpey on a paper now for those of you who are on patreon um, I figured that this is actually a pretty easy tutorial so this one's not going to be much longer the edited version but um, I did want to discuss a little bit of the difference between um, translucent liquid Sculpey and Fimo Deco Gel. So that's a little bit. We're going to use that for our light pink. We're going to use this for our dark pink. So making two little piles. Okay, and for our light pink color, I'm using Super Pearl, and it's pearl dust. You could also use white. I just happen to have Super Pearl. And close by and it has some white color to it so I am mixing that in and then I have a little bit of something called Cosmos which is a pink I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of that because I want to touch a pink in there but not much you could also use the same thing that we use for our raspberry uh, for well it's a uh, a gel, the cherry gel in there, the darker, richer gel, but I use a color called raspberry for that. So you can see how pretty pale pink that is. Our raspberry, that's Luster's Dust, which um, I think the same company really makes them and does them for the different ones. You can get this on the Global Sugar Art too, which is where I tend to get a lot of my um, my dust now. This raspberry I still have left over from when um, I would get it from a little place called Cake Palace, which is in a neighboring city to where I live. So what I wanted to discuss with the difference between these and Fimo Deco Gel is the colors. Now when you are mixing anything with the Fimo Deco Gel, it is much thinner. 
so I'll show you what I mean here. I'm actually just going to wipe, try to wipe off some of this. Now, when you use the Fimo Deco Gel, you get a much clearer vision of what the color is actually going to be. So when I mix the raspberry with it, do you see how dark and rich it is? You get to actually see what the actual color is. But Fimo Gel is much thinner in consistency. I made one with Fimo Deco Gel and one with a TLS so you could see the difference. So the TLS is here on the left hand side. It's much thicker and you could almost paint it on a little bit more. The Fimo Deco Gel is thinner and you could see color much better through it. So it just kind of depends on what you want. Both are pretty. And I wanted to show you both just in case you don't have Fimo Deco Gel. You can see that it's not necessary. You could also paint thinner layers and cook longer to get a little bit more translucency with the TLS. But I just wanted to show you the difference. Okay, So here we go. This is baked. What I'm going to do is just peel it off of the marble, which is why it's important that you don't cover more than half of it. And then I'll check the size of the cherry, and uh, it might be a smudge too big. So I'm peeling a little bit off, reforming it into a ball, then I'll throw it on in. I like that size a lot better. From here, I'm taking translucent liquid Sculpey with a little bit of white and pink powdered food coloring. And I'm coating half of it, the bottom half. Then I throw this in there. And then I'm going to put it, oops, I'm going to put it down on a pan and to make it a little bit more visually interesting what I'm going to do is paint some onto the pan like it's spilling out so there we go and then I'm going to go ahead and bake this once it's baked it's going to look something like this and then I wanted to show you the difference between Fimo Deco Gel and Translucent Liquid Sculpey. This is Translucent Liquid Sculpey mixed with a little bit of raspberry and it looks lighter but it does cook darker. This is Fimo Deco Gel I like how thin it is, so that's what I'm using. And since it's thin, I'm going to go ahead and coat the whole cherry. I'm going to put some back in the chocolate area itself. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this on the pan because when it bakes, Fimo Deco Gel kind of spreads out to give you an idea. See how it cooked, it pooled down, and it just gives a little bit of a darker color. If you like it um, a lot darker, keep the TLS which is like this. So I'm going to go ahead and bake these. Once you're finished, you can poke a pin through. Especially if you've used Primo. If you've used Sculpey, you might not be able to. I always use Sculpey colors half translucent Primo to strengthen it if you're using the Sculpey 
but um, Fimo is nice and strong. I'm just using a gloss glaze. I'm using triple, triple thick at the moment. It, I'm not completely happy with triple thick, but um, um, I don't like the, the newer Sculpey gloss glaze. I'll try Fimo out soon because something's telling me I'd probably like the Fimo glaze. But as long as you use a gloss glaze, just go ahead and paint it. It's um, your choice whether you want it all nice and glossy like this or whether you want to leave maybe the chocolate area more matte where it's not so shiny like this. I just kind of like these ones looking more glass-like. So, there you are, and I hope that you enjoyed this cherry cordial. You could also make them smaller around um, the small size marbles if you wanted it smaller and not a um, charm size.